On behalf of Angela and Michael, we truly do appreciate you coming here today to share with them this most joyous of occasions. There really is nothing quite like a wedding, especially a wedding, a marriage like this. This marriage is going to last and everyone here knows it. A marriage like this that came from a relationship rooted in love. A marriage like this that is the type that makes you so happy for Angela and Michael that all you want to do is dance. Michael, from this day forward. Michael, from this day forward. I promise to take you as my husband. I promise to take you as my husband. I will comfort you in times of joy. I will comfort you in times of joy. And remain faithful to my vows. And remain faithful to my vows. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forever and always. Forever and always. Until death itself parts us. Until death itself parts us. Nicely done, John. Michael, it is now time for you to gaze into the eyes of your future gorgeous wife and repeat after me. Angela, from this day forward. Angela, from this day forward. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. I will comfort you in times of sorrow. I will comfort you in times of sorrow. I will remain faithful to my vows. I will remain faithful to my vows. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forever and always. Forever and always. Until death itself parts us. Till death itself parts us. Nicely done. <laughs> you can do that again, parts us. <clears throat> Some of you may have heard the expression tying the knot when referring to marriage. This is an actual real expression from the 1200s through 1500s when actually if you wanted to be married, your hands were tied together. It was known as hand fasting. You had to go in front of the local clerk or magistrate, ask to be married, then we would all gather, there would be flowers, and the hands would be tied together. The rope had to stay on for 24 hours and then it could be removed and they were officially husband and wife. Over the years, marriage became informally known as tying the knot. Right now, I'm going to ask you two to join your right hands as though you were being introduced for the very first time. Hello. Hello. And now, I'm going to ask you to join your left hands as well. Notice that their outstretched hands form the infinity symbol, referring to their never-ending and undying love for each other. And now, we actually will, didn't know that was there, we actually will, <laughs> When we had the rehearsal, the person from Gibbet Hill said, there'll be a trellis made of flowers here and you're gonna back underneath it <laughs> and they'll be just outside it. And I said, yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Got it, Poof. okay. <clears throat> so now, please continue to join your hands and with your hands, your hearts. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding on to yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. And it is now time for your exchange of rings. May I have the rings, please, if you still have them? <laughs> he said, hold on a second there, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, and I thank you. Angela, I'm going to ask you to take the big man ring, <laughs> and as you place it onto your future husband's finger, his ring finger, please repeat after me. Michael, I give you this ring. Michael, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. My love and my faithfulness. My love and my faithfulness. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and every day. This day and every day. Perfectly done. And now, Michael, if you could take the beautiful girl ring and look into the eyes of your future gorgeous wife and repeat after me as you place the ring onto her ring finger. Angela, I give you this ring. Angela, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. My love and my faithfulness. My love and my faithfulness. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and every day. This day and every day. Nicely done.
Preparing to end this ceremony, I would offer you the benediction of the Apaches. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness for you, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into your days of togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon this earth. One last thing to do before we make this official. We need to know that everyone here today approves of this marriage and gives it your blessing. If you do, could you all now answer in a loud voice, we do. We do. We do. Wow, nicely done. Angela, Michael, they say, marry the one you love and then love the one you marry. You've just done the first half. It's now time for you to go do the latter half for the rest of your lives. Now, if you have your cameras or your very snazzy smartphones ready, they are about to experience their first kiss as husband and wife. And when they do, we certainly do not want to see this in the photo. So I am going to walk over here. I'll ask you all to please rise. Cameras ready. And now, by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss your bride.